Hi, this is Jackie from the Builder All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a subscriber list. Now on the left hand side right here, you will see that we've got subscribers. You can click on lists or on the right hand side, we've got see list here. We're going to click on that. And then it's a place like this going open up. I've already added some lists, but we're just going to click on create a new list. And then we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to give it my name here. And then you are going to make sure you choose double opt-in. It's very important to choose a double opt-in because of two reasons. You want to make sure that the person on your list really want to receive your emails. Secondly, you want to have a good deliverability rate. So it's important to keep that in consideration. And then you're going to give it a description. And you're going to click save. It's going to open up a page like this, but we're going to go from the beginning to go through it. So let's click on list data first. Here you would be able to modify everything that you've just done. You can change it accordingly if it's not something that you want. And it's also very important to make sure that your from email is from a verified email address, which is one of the ones that's a professional email connected to your um, domain. So make sure that you don't leave it on the default. Then you're going to put your from name, your subject name and reply to. These are all additional things that you can add to your emails. Normally you would use a welcome email most of the time and a CRM, but you can hover over these areas and you will see exactly what each of these items mean. So once you've done that, we're going to go over to form. Now this is what's going to be seen on your website. It is an email marketing form that will be added to your Cheetah page and you would be able to choose what type of fields you're going to add. Now, currently we've got an email and an F name, which stands for the person's name. You can see it right there. On the left hand side, you see these very nice colored bars. That is if you want to add additional things. So let's say that we want a person's surname being added to it, a last name. So you can just gra uh, grab it and drop it. It's basically drag and drop feature. So now I can see it's highlighted in red and right here on the left hand, on the, on the right hand side, you can change the field name. So in this case, it's going to be last name. And you can see that is how it will change. That is how it's on an F name. And that is for this one. So now you can just type in surname or you can put in last name to make it easier for yourself. And then all of these, you can see now we've got them all added. You would be able to change whether it is required, like this one, email tells you that they have to give you the email address. If you want the first name, if you don't say it's required, it means they don't have to fill it in. So you can make it required and the last name can be optional. You can also hide that field. Now for options, it's only going to open up if you are going to insert something where options is required. So for an example, if I take the radio button and I add that, you can see there's an option bar opening up. And in that case, you need to fill in all the details, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to show you how to delete a field. So we're just going to click on delete and then you have to click again to confirm. So now we can see we've got email, F name and last name. We might not want it in this format. We can change it around by just dragging it and moving it up and down. Now I'm not going to make use of that. So I'm just going to delete and delete again because I only want those two fields. So now we've done all of that. You can also embed, configure and do thank you pages, but we, let's just go through this area here. The pages and emails, this is where you can manipulate the information that will be sent out. That is to subscribe form look like, the pending subscribe, subscription confirm, update profile, unsubscribe confirmation. So if I just click on some of them, just to make you show what it looks like, this is where you can change that information. So this is basically the pages that is going to be shown after a certain action has taken place. They will see this. If you click on the emails, these are the emails they will receive after a certain action has been taken place. Next is subscribers. If somebody have uh, subscribed to your email, they would be able to see exactly, your, so you'll see your subscriber list people sitting right here. This is where you're going to segment your list. 
and this is where you're going to create the notifications once something has happened on your site. You would be able to be emailed so that you can be, um, not be notified. And once you've done all of that, all you need to do is click on update and you can see that the list has been added successfully. So if I go back and I close, you would see it shows right here, Team Matrix Newsletter. And that is how you would create a list. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another.